Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Ultra Romantic, you know, which is on, what, um, huh, season 3, I believe? Yeah, season 3, etc., um, on episode 1, so if anything else, let's just get this started. Forgive me if I'm a little off topic. Um, we had to, Ishigami is the only guy in the, like, um, student council room doing his own work whatsoever, and then we had to it that, um, what's her name again? Oh, man, I've forgotten her name. Um, Aino, or Miko-chan, Aino-chan, whichever one you think is appropriate, if anything, is actually, um... Listening to her own, like, um, soothing, like, um, background music, you know, you know, how people study, etc. Sadly, though, she doesn't have her headphones plugged in all the way, which apparently Ishigami is actually listening to, like, for Rainforest Sounds, and later on, there's some, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, some, she's listening to something, like, these two men are, like, complimenting her, I'm like, what the living cracked up pickle stickles is this you know that kind of thing and we had to ishigami's doing all these scans to try to help like um i know chan to realize something you know sadly though she doesn't really realize it herself you know i mean you have you know those old school headphones that people use to plug into their um to plug it into their um phones you know to make sure no one's gonna listen to the music you know that kind of thing you guys get the cue i'm pretty sure you guys lived long enough to see that unless you're Pretty brand new and don't understand the old school fashion way, but that aside, um, what should we call it? Ishigami was trying to help Aino chan to realize that, you know, Fujiwara comes in, Fujiwara chan comes in, then, you know, Kaguya, Kaguya chan, and then Shinomiya, Shino, Shiogani kun, um, ends up having to, like, um, show up, you know? But sadly, however, um, things did not go the way he wanted to with the way how he's playing his music that's not plugged in all the way to make, um, I know trying to realize something, but too bad she does it. She says, oh, you're so disturbing. Later on, she plays her own music and all of a sudden, she just realized that it's not plugged in all the way and people's like, uh, what is this? You know, that kind of thing. And then I know it's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is this am I hearing about, you know? And then, you know, Ishigami and Aino chan loses, you know, that kind of thing. That was the first seven minutes of the episode. The second part involving like the cell phone texting kind of thing, where involving the read, text, the red the text has been read kind of thing, you know. I think there's a group chat involving, you know, Shirogane being trying to like get Kaguya to like um Blur out her, like, um, emotions whatsoever. I'm like, what the hell is this? And then, you know, Hayasaka being that, like, um, that right-hand maid or right-hand, right-hand woman of hers to, like, um, to, Shin to Shinomiya, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm I don't know, but all I know is this texting war kind of thing was just hilarious of mobbing, like, oh, I read it, you read it, what the f who read it? I mean, you guys know how texting works, right? Come on, I can't be the only one that, like, um, know that too. <laughs> but that aside, um, something about funny text wars involving, like, Shirogani and Kaguya, Kaguya-chan, and then later on Shirogani... Having to talk to her through the phone, but freaking Kaguya has freaking like, um, what you may call it, um, Hayasaka to handle the rest saying, hey, I need your help here, woman, do your, do your job kind of thing. I'm thinking about my, oh my gosh, this is just hilarious kind of thing, depending on how you look at it. But that aside, um, things kind of gotten a little out of hand, depending on the situation, on how it is looked, you know, but that aside, um, yeah. Funny texting war. Sorry for being very confusing and complicated. All I know is just like um, this texting thing involving like um, a group chat and then Shirogane thinking that Kaguya might have some, you know, romantic feelings for him, you know, trying to get her to like um, answer the question here and there. But Hayasaka shows up thinks because of like um, Shinomiya like um, saying, hey, help me out here and then handle the rest, which is freaking hilarious. But that aside, um, we have two of the, the, um, the rest of the episode involves an arm wrestling tournament, which involves Ishigami Fujiwara having to start it, with Fujiwara Chan having to start things off with her own, like, um, what you may call it, um, hmm, her own style, style here and there, and so forth, pretty hilarious, but we have to it that involving arm wrestling tournament, where, like, um, freaking, like, Ishigami goes against, like, um, 
Kaguya, Kaguya, you know, but we all know that she's super strong. I mean, she she's left-handed dominant, and she easily defeats Ishigami like no tomorrow, you know. And then as for um, as for um Fujiwara, you know, uh, she ends up going up against Shirogane, you know, Shirog Shirogane, which is also hilarious in a certain way, but. Sadly, though, um, she was actually cheating in a certain way by, like, having her hands, like, um, putting into, like, an arm, an advantage, ad advantageous position of, like, um, arm wrestling, you know, which I go, oh, that's just freaking hilarious here and there, and, and so forth. Um, we have to it that, like, um, because of Kaguya saying, hey, isn't Fujiwara cheating, you know, she ends up being defeated after, after that, and, you know, we get to see, like, um, Kaguya, Chan, and Shirogane end up going in a wrestling wrestling match, but we have to it that um you know both of them are not even giving their well Shirogane is giving his all, but as for Kaguya, she's not even moving at all. Only then when she realizes that her hand is sweating later on, she ends up defeating Shirogane no problem. Which we don't really know how long that arm wrestling round lasted, but one thing was certain is that it lasted for a couple hours. <laughs> I mean. What's another funny thing too is that like um she is named the Muscle Queen now, which Kaguya finds very humiliating about and 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 falls out in humiliation of what just happened here and there, etc. Then you know there's a credit scene playing the opening song, which I thought it was pretty cute, you know. And then later on there's a post credit scene involving Ishigami and Fujiwara having to arm wrestle each other, and Ishigami wins. Fujiwara can only scream, "Ah, oh, I broke my arm in mental agony," realizing she lost. <laughs> Pretty hilarious, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, sorry for being very confusing. First part of the episode involves about, like, listening to music and Ishigami trying to help Aino, like, hey, 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 look, your headphones are not plugged in all the way, you know? So he checked this, so he decides to, like, do the same thing to make her realize something, but that didn't go out so well. The second part involves texting, texting wars. Well, I call it texting wars because I'm just an idiot, <laughs> but... That aside, you know, funny stuff involving the text, you know, with Shirogane trying to get Shinomiya to corner her to admit something, but that didn't work out thanks to Hayasaka coming in and saying a bunch of things here and there. And then the last part of the episode involves, like, arm wrestling tournament, which Ishigami and Fujiwara, Fujiwara are, like, arguing about the contestant of strength, you know. Fujiwara defeats him, but only because she cheated in a certain way after Kaguya realizes something. And then, you know, Kaguya becomes the winner overall in the arm wrestling match and is called the Muscle Queen or Muscle Princess, I don't know. And then we have to it that Kaguya can only be embarrassed and hangs her head in shame, wondering, what the hell did it come to this? <laughs> and then, you know, so forth. Anyways, looking forward to the next episode. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off as little. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.